Time now for the Honda starting goaltenders. Rob Sapp of Philadelphia, one of the heartening stories of this season, at 33, the oldest NHL goalie to win his first start since 1926. Canadian-born, played nine years in Germany, NHL record, two starts, two wins. No Capitals goalie in the 41-year history of the team has started this many in a row. Braden Holtby, 26th straight appearance, 20th straight start already, 21 wins. The last night he had off was November 15, almost two months ago. Claude Giroux hasn't taken any time off either. A terrific player for the Philadelphia Flyers offensively, and the guy that will try to match up with him defensively is that man who plays a lot and is a huge leader for this team coming over from Pittsburgh, Brooks Orpik, and we are underway. Joel Ward tried to play it in, could not, hoping to feather it ahead to Voracek, but failing on that was Braden Shen, and it's tapped to the corner. Quick shift change already, bad angle shot by Brooks Like is shut off by Zepp and cleared off the high glass to the short boards. Sent around behind by Fair, taken right back further by Delzato. Michael Delzato able to play it as far as Orpik gives it over to John Carlson, and then it is swung on back and hit for his trouble right in front of Pierre there with Brooks Like as coming off was Braden Shen. That's just a little Saskatchewan love. One guy from Saskatoon, the other guy from Wawota, Saskatchewan Doc. Sometimes time changes the nature of the rivalry and it's being fierce, but if you saw the top of the show, you realize that some of this vitriol between these two franchises is as recent as last year. This one trickled back in. The Flyers won the only other game played this year, and that was 3-2 on a Jake Voracek goal in Philadelphia. Carried back up and sent across by R.J. Umberger, and a big drive by Strike is grabbed and held by Braden Holtby. Now you see Braden Holtby, Eddie and Doc, and one of the guys that deserves a lot of credit for Braden Holtby's resurgence, Mitch Korn, the goalie coach who worked with Dominic Ashik in Buffalo and worked with Thomas Volkun and Pekka Rene down in Nashville. He's come up here with Barry Trotz and done a really good job with Braden Holtby. There's game evolving, according to Barry Trotz. Not only physically, but mentally as well. And on a unbelievable roll right now. Some guys can take the heavy workload and be fine with it, can't they? Trickled around behind for some battling there with Joel Ward. Wedged off by Delzato. Played right back to Ward once again. Ward angled it on back. Orpik able to play it right back into some traffic. And a turnaround shot by Fair was wide. Now taken along by Ward. Ward able to angle back. And Carlson fires. Oh, and a save up high by Zepp. Good positioning by him. Tipped ahead now for the carry. Back up by Giroux. Angles it ahead. Brayton Shen fires. And that one is held by Holtby. Well, the puck works its way back to... John Carlson at the point. Good play there from Joel Ward and good save there for Zepp and pushed the puck out to the right side there with Brooks Like looking for a little bit of a screen off the shot from the point. Well, that's the best way to play a matchup game if you're Washington. Like Fair and Ward, you want to play against Giroux, Voracek, and Chen? Dominate them on the cycle, force them to play defense rather than offense. Tipped along by Johansson but played back further by Luke Chen. Battled for by Simmons, able to nudge it along. Chen waiting back at the point, but it's played in deep, and Troy Brower is able to whip it around behind for control by the defense. In the way was Roffel. Puck followed up, though, by Jack Hillen. Tapped on, but Braden Chen answered that. So some table tennis, and then it's floated back in, and the first one to get to this, trying a centering pass with Brower, came right back to him again, and is able to finesse it on for Johansson. Johansson looking for Kuznetsov, who was tied up for a moment and couldn't get free for an easy pass. Now he is able to control. Kuznetsov got it behind. Johansson threw it in front. That one tipped aside, and it can be brought back out. Scott Lawton got in the way of that one. Meanwhile, this is controlled and neatly able to, working it, uh, to work it back and jam it in was Roffel. Hillen geometrically around behind for control by his defense partner. It's laid back up now. Nice sachet there by Jason Chimera. Led it on a cross. Tom Wilson able to backhand it in. And around to Chimera. Out there with the centerman on this line, Jay Beagle. They try to play back to Beagle. No luck. Le Cavalier floats it further. Chopped that by Wilson. Stopped by the paddle that is held by Zepp. 
Tipped right back along again and right in front. Score! A wild sort of deflection. It's one nothing. Jamera. Well, it's the second time now we've seen a shot from the right defenseman, the right side of the offensive zone for the Washington Capitals. Jason Chimera is in behind the net, and Matt Niskan is going to just fire it to the front of the net. What a beautiful redirect on the backhand. Change of direction from Jason Chimera. Eddie, I got to tell you, Jason Chimera in the warm-up comes up to me and he says, I'm starting on the fourth line tonight with Jay Beagle and Tom Wilson. I don't consider myself a fourth-line player. I want to prove to the coach I deserve more ice time. That'll help him. Number four of the year for Beagle at 3.13 of the first period, and so the Washington Capitals have struck first. It is Reed. Umberger would not work for Couturier. Tipped back to him, though, and taking the hit was Schultz. Good hit there from Ovechkin. The only thing wrong, Eddie, I think you wouldn't have liked the stick up in the air. Backstrom across. Thrown to Ovechkin, let it back across. Had to be chased down, and it went past Burakovsky. He's able to corral it now and hand behind for Backstrom. Backstrom able to work it along for Burakovsky. Close quarters, it's tapped on by the Flyers, and Umberger can step ahead. And we get a halt to play. 4.06 gone in the first. Sorry, sorry Pierre. No, I'm sorry, Doc. And Eddie loves fundamental hockey, and I agree with him 100% when it comes to hitting guys into the boards. And Ovechkin, that last time, good hit on Nick Schultz. But you see where the stick is. It's up, and you just got to be careful. You don't take a high stick in front of him. Yeah, if he buries the stick on the ice, maybe he's able to deflect that play by Schultz, who was pinching in. Knew he was going to take a hit there to uh, keep that play alive, but a lot of it is habit. I don't think there's any doubt about that when guys just get in their mind that they're going to go ahead and keep their stick up and try to make contact. He had a razor deal at one time. Obviously, he doesn't have it now. Alex is looking very apostolic, isn't he? You know what's great about him, though, how receptive he's been to Barry Trotz? Last year, he was minus 35. I know he had 51 goals. This year, he's plus 10. And he got 22 goals. He's going to end up over 40 goals, but he's going to be a plus player, not a detriment to his team, an asset to his team. Yeah, Goaltending's better. System being bought and played extremely well collectively by the defensemen and forwards, and her defensive group is better. There's no doubt about it. You think about the great job that Brian McClellan, the first-year general manager, longtime member of the Washington Capitals organization, going out and getting Matt Niskanen and Brooks Orpik. I mean, two guys that are playing in your top four. It is Brower, the hero of the Winter Classic. Sees this one skid to the corner. Well, Iacobo nudged a pass, but it was sort of half-hearted, wasn't it? And it can be kept by the Caps for a moment, but then canceled out by some aggressive work done by Claude Giroux. Tipped on across now for the carry back in by Johansson. Dropped it on back and curling and then dropping it back in as Carlson retrieved by Luke Shen and Shen tucked a pass over. That's flexed away by Carlson. Swatted at by Voracek. Could not push it out. Carlson got in the way of that and now it's angled on back near him. Brooks Arpig takes care of this. Boston College product able to just ladle it around behind. A silver medalist in 2010 for Team USA in Vancouver. He moves it yet again, and it is carried back ahead by Joel Ward, led back over for Fair. Fair with a shot that is tipped up high, and it glances off the mesh behind. Tune in to NHL Network on January 23rd through 25th for live coverage from the 2015 NHL All-Star Weekend. NHL Network, where the NHL gets hockey. These are the representatives from the two teams tonight. Yeah, Jacob Voracek going back to where it all started for him. That's easy to forget, isn't it? <laughs> sure is. Tipped ahead now for Simmons, and Simmons lays it across. You said a budding superstar. Thrown across from Backstrom to Ovechkin. Save made by Zapp. 
Driven back around and can be controlled by Backstrom. Lost on back to Hillen. Tried for Ovechkin, but instead it is flipped back along. However, it went on through Scott Lawton, who comes to the bench on a change. Probably not one of Alexander Ovechkin's better strengths of uh, having a semi-tight breakaway in deking instead of shooting. I think he's much more comfortable in a shooting type of situation on that last opportunity against Zepp. Simmons was stopped by Holtby. Zepp stopped Ovi. Glass with Pierre Maguire presented by Chase. Thanks a lot, Doc. No secret around the National Hockey League. Jake Voracek along with Braden Shen and Claude Drew, one of the top lines in the league. So Barry Trotz, he's going to deploy checkers. Brooks Lake, Joel Ward, they're going to go to work along with Eric Fair. So dominate below the ice. And then you get a chance, break it up. Don't turn it over. Force them to play transition defense. Get pucks in deep again. Engage the forecheck. That's to watch the t tonight. The forecheck game by Washington, especially against Giroux's line. They are not out there right now. It is a Le Cavalier and the 70s group. As this is snagged and held by Zepp. Ooh. And then he caught a little extra stick as going by was Chimera and a howdy do. Will come up from that. Yeah, it looked like yeah. him and Luke Shen got kind of tied up right in front of the blue paint. And the stick comes right up. He's new to the league, let's make it tough on him. <laughs> They've tried a couple of things to rattle him tonight, and having Ovechkin right in front of you with a good scoring chance is one, is one way, and then that becomes another as this is Green playing it along. But it was all unintentional, right? So spun away by Zepp on the try from Chimera. Delmore tried to see that one develop, but could not. Ooh, Luke Shen rifled to the boards in glass, rolls off of that. And flipped one that went off a cap stick, but is whacked back out again by Belmar and can be grabbed off by Green. Good hit there from Tom Wilson finishing his check on Shen. He's good at that. Doc was talking about the controversy in years past. Part of it is Tom Wilson's hit on Braden Shen. Push back ahead for that man to deal back in Braden Shen. Walled there by Carlson, taken along by LeCavalier. Worked on by Light, got it onto the back, and it's helped on across once more for Strite. His shot was cut off and whacked through Fair. Strite duels with Fair, and Fair prevailed, and then got help from Light to step on. Light fed it in front, and it's tipped right in on goal by the back checking of Claude Giroux. Well, this play all started back at the Capitals. Blue line, watch the great stick here of Eric Fair. Watch what he does. Leads with his stick, takes the opportunity for Mark Stride away, leaves it for Brooks Lake, and now the Washington Capitals are off to the races. Good defense leads to an offensive opportunity because of the good stick by Eric Fair. And man, Washington's managing the puck so well right now. They're not turning it over at all. They're forcing turnovers. This one forced ahead can be settled down there by Voracek and played back in. Jake Voracek, 52 points. Evgeny Malkin of Pittsburgh is second in the Art Ross Trophy race for most points at 49. Claude Giroux, Tyler Sagan tied for third at 48. Brooks Orpik led it across. John Carlson pivots away from the forecheck. Matt Reed goes in for some more, but it's played on by Orpik, jammed ahead, hoping for Ovechkin. Came on back deeper, and Delzato fed it ahead for the setup by Umberger, played across by Reed, punched on high and whacked ahead to Ovechkin by Niskanen. Ovechkin waits and shoots, and that one answered quickly by Zep. Pretty good hit there on Kuznetsov. Meanwhile, this is touched on along and can be filtered on back. Beg your pardon, Burakovsky that time, not Kuznetsov. And then it is wristed back in again by Alsner and stopped by Zep. Last year, Burakovsky had a pretty good line made up in Erie in the Ontario Hockey League. Connor McDavid, they shredded the Ontario Hockey League last year. For sure, the number one pick in the draft here. Well, Jack Eichel will have something to say about that, but it's pretty close right now between McDavid and Eichel. Bad angle shot was off Zepp. Flipped along now for Troy Brower. Hunted down by Luke Shen, but Brower pulled away. Shen met him again. 
trickled on through right after it is Brower. It's tipped on back for Carlson to hold. Sped it across to Orpik. Wristed one that's blocked from the higher ranges of his jersey. And flipped back out again from Luke Shen. All the way down it goes and there'll be an icing so the Flyers will not be able to make a change. Eddie and Doc, Craig Berube knows he doesn't have a lot of room for error. Two sequences ago, he put number 14, Sean Couturier, on the ice to take a face-off deep in his own zone. He took Vinny LeCavier off. This is what happened after Couturier lost the draw clean. At least he's got to scramble it. It's one of the things that's really hurt Philadelphia. These little plays are really important. You can't lose defensive zone face-offs. There have been five giveaways in the game, all by the Flyers. One nothing Capitals. Chimera from Niskan. The lone assist at 313 of the first period. Played along by Beagle. Rolling off that hit. Trying to work it further was Wilson. Beagle with a little pass in front for Chimera that is outreached and then tapped ahead. Pumped up high and hops over the wall for a homer right into the Flyers bench area and a little more between Shannon Wilson. That's got some history to it as we were talking about before. Now Simmons is there. Shen's reminding him about last year. I liked it when you were visiting with Barry Trotz, Eddie, and Doc. He said, you almost forget that Tom Wilson's only 20 years of age. Tom Wilson doesn't turn 21 until March 29th in the spring. 6-4-2-10 is Wilson. Shen, 6-1-1-90. Young guys, 23 is Shen. 20, as Pierre mentioned, is Wilson. And Pierre's mic is closed right now. Neutralized face-off, and it comes on back. We try to protect the ears, young and old. This one yanked along by Backstrom, and around behind taken by Strike. Shuttled back up for Simmons, and Simmons able to bring it back out. Nice little pass across that is carried on and worked to the outside by Lawton, and a shot that sailed wide and hit the glass. Kept alive by Strike, thrown to the front. Simmons with a twisting backhander that's turned aside. Again by Holtby. Flyers with a bit of an attack here now. Led to the back, Strike with it. Shovels one, waving at that one was Roffel. He steps over to play it. Around for Simmons again. Simmons able to control from Niskan, and big drive by Lawton, and that deflected wide. Boy, two quality chances for Lawton in a matter of about 30 seconds. Ripped off the glass, and it goes out of play. No penalty, but the faceoff will be back in the Washington defensive end. Capitals have the only offensive of the game so far from Chimera, it's 1-0. Start for your group so far, what have you liked? Well, I liked uh, when we get it in deep and we get a good four check. I mean, we've got good speed, we got four lines and we gotta play that way. We gotta hem them in their end. They're so dynamic offensively with Voracek and Drew, so let's make them play some defense. Is that a big part of your plan against that top line? Yeah, you gotta wear them out. They're such good players and they, they compete at such a good good high level. That the more that you can force them to play some heavy minutes, better it is for our group. Thanks a lot, Coach. All right. Belmar chased out of the faceoff for the Flyers and so it'll be this draw to take place. And LeCavalier tied it up and pressed it back on. Backhander by Belmar would not work. Comes to the back, though, and has floated back on for, once again, Belmar to escape. French-born, working around behind. Rocked a bit there by Hillen. Still able to drag it along. Has Vandevelli behind, but that tipped away from him by the Caps' defense. Jabbed right back in on the back end of Schultz. Feathering the pass through to the front with Belmar. Taken to the outside now by Vandevelli, and his shot floated wide. Delzato threw it behind. Flyers pinching in there some. Striding for this now and playing it along with Cavalier. Got it on back to Delzato. Fires and that one blocked in front and can be started back up again by Johansson. Johansson marches back on, hands it up the wing for a shot by Green that is blocked away by Zepp. And in stride, the Flyers can bring it on back. Lumbering on with it now is Belmar. Floated one that went wide but is hunted down but then left behind as it looked as though that Delzato could reach, but his shift is over, and we get a penalty call coming out of this. Uh, holding the stick call coming. Vandevelli's the guy, and so the power play to the Caps. The Capitals were trying to clear this puck out of the zone. 
Kuznetsov is able to get a little bit of position. There was the official below the goal line back on the opposite side. There you see Kuznetsov not able to get his stick free, holding the stick call. And power play coming up for the Caps. Eddie and Dot, that was too long a shift for Vinny LaCalvi and Chris Vandevelde. Belmar had already gone off the ice. They all should have gone the puck in deep and gotten off. Way too long a shift. The last six games at home for the Caps have been victories, and their power play has led the way. Five for the last 19. Almost 25% in terms of their power play at home. Lifted along by Luke Chen, played across by Brower, and settled down. Johansson tapped it over for Carlson. The lonesome end on the near side of the ice is Ovechkin, and it's fired back in. It eludes the reach of Zapp. Played further, though, by Johansson, though taken away by Reed. He's tripped up on the play, gets it as far as center, and there will be that penalty call whistled, and it will be four against four for a minute 21. A lot of urgency by the Flyers in this penalty kill, and it pays off for them. Good board work, good job in the neutral zone, and Marcus Johansson's going to take a penalty. Reed's trying to move it up, and you see Johansson stick it caught right between the legs of Matt Reed. That last shoot in for the Capitals, they had everybody standing still at the blue line, so that's why they were a little slow to get in there. There was no strength in numbers, no support there on that shoot in. You got to put it in with a purpose, guys understanding where it's going to be placed, and you got the man advantage. You got to take advantage of it, but the Flyers are able to capitalize and even strength now. Brooks like tried to play it in front could not jammed right back into traffic Schultz is there defending like yet again Beagle was rocked a little bit there by Delzato and it's floated on back to Michael Delzato the ex-ranger finesses has trouble with it and his feet got a little help though in the reinforcement carried back on by Claude Giroux He's got Voracek nearby, gets it to him, and a nice twirl around behind. He's chased down by Orpik, and then it's stashed behind by McDonald. Carlson took care of his man. Meanwhile, the puck up for grabs. 38 seconds from now, it'll be an abbreviated Flyers power play. A three-on-two developing for the Caps. Thrown on a cross! Oh, what a chance there for Carlson on the feed from Brooks Light. Lugged right back again and moving on and shooting one was strike. It is grabbed by Holtby and play is stopped. Well, a lot more room at four on four and the Washington Capitals take advantage with this three on two and then in behind this opportunity for John Carlson is Claude Drew who wanted to go for a change but then he had to stay on. He, nice little slash there by Drew on the uh, right leg of Carlson. But Drew had to stay there to try to put a little bit of pressure, and I'm sure Carlson felt that after he let it go. That whole sequence started because John Carlson was big as a house in his own zone in one-on-one -on -one situation. McDonald drops back. In 15 seconds, it will be a power play, and so that's the reason for the retreat right now, just to buy a little more time of four-on-four -four and get it off the board. Nice rag there by Scott Walton. Played around behind for McDonald to get to strike, but tipped away from him. Nicely regathered by Backstrom. Backstrom just dragging it away from everyone, chewing up some time of his own here, as it's now a half minute on the Flyers' power play, and they're still in their defensive end. Slows down enough that Strike can try to play it along. Brower was harassing him, and it's Dell's auto to take. Under six and a half to go, first period of play. Shots are seven, six capitals. They lead one nothing. That one deflected and then waffle boarded away after Braden Chen got his stick on it. It was the blocker of Holtby. Off the glove of Voracek, caps in a rush here. It's lugged on by Brower, given to Beagle, and Beagle trying to fight his way through the defense, can't do it. Tipped right back near Orpik, out of the box. Fresh now, Johansson laid it back in deep. And we get a stoppage of play and an icing call. February 1st, the biggest Sunday night of the mall is on NBC, live in Glendale, Arizona. A full day of coverage leading up to Super Bowl 49, February 1st only on NBC. Right in, Doc, right after they came off of that short power play sequence, a few of the Flyer players were really upset. Coach Craig Berube had to come down towards my end of the bench. Settle down, boys. We're only down one. We're starting to push back. So he's got control of his bench, but his guys were clearly frustrated. 
This is given back to Luke Shen for a shot that went wide, struck the back of the cage, taken along by Matt Reed and handed on back. Played further by Koliakovo to Reed, worked on there by Jay Beagle, aggressive centerman for the Washington Capitals. It is Koliakovo's shot that is stifled down and then played ahead by Beagle along now for Johansson, pivots and looks over the traffic before he stashed it back in. Burakovsky could not get anything going there that he liked, and so it is handled on back by the Flyers and lobbed back in by R.J. Umberger. Shoulder work done there, canceling our Couturier. On to the back now for a shot that ricocheted wide. Mike Green, who had defended Couturier, now has to contend with another of the Flyers who ripped one toward the front, and that was Vandevelde. Meanwhile, it's chipped on to center for Backstrom to backhand in wide. Schultz able to play it there, along for Del Zotto, and it's tucked right back on for a flyer outlet, though it is intercepted and handed on back to Niskanen and then across to Carl Alsner. No sunglasses necessary for Alsner today. Chipped one along now that is taken on by Ovechkin and handed to Backstrom. Backstrom given a little shove. Little over four and a half to go in this first period. Burakovsky got it on back to Niskanen, fires a shot that is blocked wide. And cleared on back for Niskanen yet again. Vandevelde with that shot block. It is Ovechkin feeding, taken on by Burakovsky. Couple of whacks from Del Zotto. Burakovsky just continues to work on back to Alsner. Then fed to Ovechkin. Shoots one, and that one trapped right on that flyer logo by Zep. Latter stages, first period here in Washington. OB's team is ahead. Tonight rivalry presented by Coors Light, one nothing the Capitals here at Verizon Center. Wonderful part of this great city, just at the edge of Chinatown, lots going on around it, and only seven blocks away from the Capitol. A little farther to the White House. Many of the main structures that we think so highly of in Washington are all in a line as designed by the legendary L'Enfant a couple of hundred years ago. Brought back on now by Orpik, and his shot went wide. Bounced along now for McDonald. Wanted to play to Braden Shen, no luck. Gotten along now by Joel Ward, and Ward is able to wheel to the outside and trying to shake McDonald. Jamming it around, but it's away from Brooks like and can be brought back up by Braden Shen. Nudged on for the play to be made back by Voracek. Shen tied up there by John Carlson, but escapes with it. Little back pass on to Giroux. Finesse one around in front that had to be dug out and floated out further by Carlson. Oh, that would have been a wide open net for Braden Shen. Claude Giroux can't believe it. He puts a little air under this pass. The Flyers tie this game up at one. Good entry by the Flyers. Good support. Put the puck in behind the net. There's Shen, there's Drew, and then the right part of your screen, he's trying to make that pass all the way over to Braden Shen. Just is not able to elevate it up and over the stick of Carlson. To neutralize, Jay Beagle wins it on back. Beagle, a member of two Calder Cup championship teams in Hershey. Dueling there is Green. Prevailing, though, it is sent right back in and rocking a bit. Simmons with Hillen. Colorado College product there. Sees 38 red. Tried to play it along, but it came on back now for flyer possession. And Simmons stashed it back. Luke Shen, a shot that is held by Braden Holtby. Time now for our Coors Light cold hard facts, and they concern that young man from the 6,000 acres up in Lloydminster, Saskatchewan. First 19 games, 8, 7, and 3. Last 18, 13, 1, and 4. He has gotten busier as a result, and a goal's against that's below it, too. Franchise record, Ole Kolsig. Another of the longtime great Capitals goaltenders had the prior record. The battle further, and it's Niskanen touching it along. Got it on for Johansson, but he couldn't get much further with it until some help came. Flexed on by Schultz. Ragged and then stashed on back for the control of Belmar, and his shot got the glass. Delzato, who's played quite a bit in this first period, took the hit, got it along, and it's 
sent on through Johansson and can be grabbed off by Schultz. Without Colburn and Grossman and no Kimo Tiemann, a lot of these guys are going to be playing a lot for Philadelphia on the back end. Any chance for Tiemann at all? I, to would, play? I would be surprised. He's on blood thinners, and that's a hard way to play hockey. Oh, oh, oh. Indeed. Lob back in, and so it'll be Troy Brower to take it. Two and a half to go in the first period. The shots are eight to seven in favor of the Capitals. Yeah, that's been a huge loss. The leadership aspect of Kimo Timonen not being here all season long for the Flyers. Big reason why they're 30th in the league in the penalty kill, I believe, Eddie. Along with this now, it is Matt Reed giving it across. Umberger is just run into by Jack Hillen. It's coughed up for the carry on a three on two. Backstrom moving ahead. Dropped it back and Reed says thanks and plays it to center. Might be an odd man rush the other way. Ovechkin back defensively and the shot was blocked down and can be covered. So it's back and forth right now. Luke Shen had it knocked away. Playing it along Burakovsky. Ties up with Shen. Backstrom. Fans thought they saw a penalty there, but no arms have come up. Two aside, battle in the last 100 seconds of this first period. From defense to offense, the visitors from Philadelphia. Luke Shen led it ahead. Directed up high and out of play from center, so no penalty. I'm going to go back to a play by that man right there, Nicholas Backstrom, right? Looks like the Capitals have something good going on, right? going to try to drop this puck if he thinks Ovechkin's going to get that puck but look at the effort by Backstrom to come all the way back watch him tie up the stick right there on RJ Umberger and denies a quality chance but again textbook stick on stick stick is down low take away a scoring chance yeah made a mistake at one end but made up for it shortly thereafter with a good defensive play do you think he's underappreciated <laughs> yes sir I do in, in, in what sense? Are you saying in the nationally, or you mean here, or both? Uh, among Capitals fans as well as nationally. Yeah, yeah I, would say, I would say a little bit here, uh, but I think if you talk to people that follow this game on a daily basis, I think they realize that uh, Backstrom is one of those guys that can be an impact player, whether he's on the score sheet or not. But most people think he's just an offensive guy, but we just saw that he is a pretty strong two-way player. Eric Fair dropped this one along, hoping for Ward. The Dobermans are working their will out there right now. This is jammed on to Fair again. Not to say they don't have a scoring touch. Here's a shot by Niskanen that had to be swatted away. Came on back to Orpik in the last 25. Dealt back in for Fair. Blocked down in front, and they rule that Zepp has it. Nope, interference. Joel Ward will get Joel it. Ward will be called. You got it. That whole line's doing exactly what they want to do against Giroux, Voracek, and Shen. But Joel Ward's going to get over-aggressive and run into Rob Zepp. Little push, nothing there. And watch what happens. going to come down right there. I don't know, Eddie. I think it was the push to yeah. Schultz's back is what they called. <laughs> yeah, there was no contact yeah. with Zepp, so it had God. to be the push in the back of, of Schultz right in front of the net. And that's what the Washington Capitol players are saying to the official. They're saying there was no contact with the goalie. So, Eddie, I think you're right. <laughs> Barry Trotz is uh, saying similar things there as his team now is shorthanded. Could have been a cross check on Schultz or a cross check on Ward for that one that we saw. And then right after that, before we cut out, is where the penalty ended up being called. But they put the interference sign up, the official did, when he made the call. So I think you got it nailed. Shorthanded the Caps again. And off this tie-up, it goes to Brooks Orpik. 17 to go. He'll make them chase. Good patience there from the veteran Orpik there. Flyer side is going to pound it around the boards. Took a quick look. Threw it right up the middle of the ice. 34 from San Francisco. Offside is called. And very happy with how the World Series turned out <laughs> well when we were visiting with Barry Trotz talking about Brooks Orpik of you know just being a guy that is very quiet and is one of those guys that leads by example and, and takes a lot of the young guys out and when he needs to send a message he just there's that glare is the word that uh, Barry Trotz used if a guy uh, in a particular play happens to make a 
mistake, but uh, just a great pickup. Maybe Capital spent a little bit more money than they would have liked, but they felt it was imperative to bring a leader like Brooks Orpik here to Washington, and so far, so good. Same for the first period of play. Stay tuned for the Lexus intermission. NHL insider Bob McKenzie. What's next for Marty Brodeur and Mike Green's future in D.C.? Chimera with the present in D.C., his fourth from Niskanen at 3.13. Rob Zepp came out, so also did Braden Holtby, and only one goal scored in the first period of play. The NHL on NBCSN is brought to you by Lexus and their pursuit of perfection. And by SAP. The world's best companies run simple with SAP. Well, last night in Dubuque, Iowa, the United States Hockey League and the National Hockey League held their top prospects game with the top 40 draft eligible players for this year's entry draft. 3,000 people attended the game in Dubuque. And congratulations to Kevin Conley of the Youngstown Phantoms and Jacob Forrest Baca Carlson of the Omaha Lancers, who were the game's MVP. Congratulations to Commissioner Bob Fallon. The Dubuque Fighting Saints were hosting a great day. The ownership group, Brad Kwong and his partners, and team president Dan Lev. And last year, the United States Hockey League had 35 players drafted into the National Hockey League, a record for the league. And that man right there, John Carlson, one of the many graduates from the United States Hockey League into the National Hockey League, played for the Indianapolis Ice. I know you were in Dubuque yesterday, were you not? Keynote was, speech, right? I was lucky enough to be a part of the uh, the whole day and be at the luncheon yesterday, so just a, a great day of celebrating the United States Hockey League and the National Hockey League in the uh, great hockey city of Dubuque. Brought ahead now by Voracek. This is power play opportunity for the Flyers for another minute and a quarter, trying to get this game tied. It is Claude Giroux with a shot. He missed the long side, and not by much. Voracek steams it back in, and around it swirls to Giroux. Jammed right back on for the take by Braden Shen. Given on to Giroux. Tripotted at the front of the net is Simmons. Couldn't angle one across, and it is cleared on back as far as strike. Now Voracek yet again. Watched there by Eric Fair. Got it on back for strike to move it across to Giroux. Giroux sent it over to Voracek. Right near the front of the net is Simmons. Can't get it there because of Brooks Orpin. To the back it comes again. Stride across. Giroux a shot. Oh, and that ricocheted off of Simmons and popped up high. Taken on by Voracek to Simmons and touched on a long. Half a minute to go on this power play as of right now. Giroux fit. Oh, and a turnaround shot by Braden Shen was stopped by Holtby. Now it is Giroux yet again. Led it to the back. Stride holds across. Voracek a shot. And that one blocked by Brooks Orpik and cleared. A single shot on goal on this power play with a dozen seconds to go in it. And so it is strike. Cranks a 90-footer around. It ricocheted behind and Holtby grabbed it there. Forced it right back up the glass and it skittered on to be carried out by Brooks Light. Out of the box is Ward. Light turns with it now. Gliding around behind. Swatted neatly off his stick by Delzato. Taken by Brower. Brower trying to get by, forced off by Couturier. Now it is Ward. Brower again. Two lines of players on this cap squad really work the boards. This is one of them. Chipped on around, and it is Ward. And Matt Reed takes over for the Flyers, lobbing one on a cross. Schultz able to bang it back in there and come to the bench for a change. Forced on by Holtby, played on a cross, and settled down again by Burakovsky. They try again off of Backstrom, led by Burakovsky intercepted, played it back off both skates of Luke Chen. They try for Le Cavalier, no luck. Niskanen back deep, played it behind to Alsner, back up for Ovechkin, tried the tip play, did not work. Has to force it around behind. Caps with a little trouble getting out of their own end. Directed on by Burakovsky. Fed back to Ovechkin by Backstrom. And he blasts one that is blocked wide by Luke Shem. Backstrom trying to shake the checking of Vandeveldi. Given on back now. Burakovsky's pass ricocheted back out to center and will be gotten by Jack Hillen. Except that Holtby had other ideas. Burakovsky on that long pass to Ovechkin. Floated across, but Simmons can take over there. 
Jack Hillen, the All-American out of Colorado College, able to drift back with this. 3.20 gone in the second period of play. A 1-0 lead for the Capitals. They have had only one shot in the last 13, 14 minutes of play. That was by Alexander Ovechkin from below the circle. Brought back on now by Green, and Green clipped one that was blocked down. Nudged across now for the take by Lawton. Got it back out now for Roffle to give across to Simmons. Simmons toe drag and a shot and a save. And the rebound, they jam away at it. Can't get it home because of Holtby. Gloved along by Koliakovo. Koliakovo backhanded it in. And it is Green taking over there. To a side and it popped on for the control of Johansson. Troy Brower brings it on. Dropped it on back. And a big drive is shielded off there by Zepa. Hard shot that came from Kuznetsov. Meanwhile, it's dragged back up by Voracek. Voracek able to lead one across that is brought in by Giroux. And a save made by Holtby. Great transition opportunity for the Philadelphia Flyers coming through the neutral zone. Claude Giroux in all alone on Braden Holpe, and Holpe big as a house. First whistle. Four minutes, 21 seconds of the second period. What a chance for Claude Giroux, and then right before that chance, Wayne Simmons had a terrific chance, a little curl and drag, bought some time, got the puck to the net. Let's not forget that chance that Braden Shen had on that power play. Good stops, a couple of good stops there from Braden Holpe. This is Tom Wilson. Wilson dropped it back in. Chimera, the scorer of the only goal, takes over there. Chimera dropped it back for Jay Beagle, and along to take it is Wilson. Wilson back for Beagle behind. Nudges the biscuit on over, and it's laid on back to the point by Chimera, and a shot is turned aside again by Zach. This is that other big line you were talking about, Doc, grinding on the boards. Beagle, Chimera, and Wilson, big bodies that can skate. We saw Jay Beagle before the game, and he talked about how much he enjoyed playing this style that Barry Trotz has them doing, and that time it was a ride to the boards right in front of Pierre. No stick cuts on that one, Pierre. Couturier brings it in, drops it back for a feed across from Reed and shaking it toward the net, but seeing it blocked by Holby was Le Cavalier. This one careened back by Le Cavalier for Luke Chen. Then tipped in front by Reed, but right to Wilson. And Wilson hooked that there and is taken out of the play. Puck up for grabs and nudged on by Wilson and forced back by Light. That was good play from Couture, really taking away any opportunity for Tom Wilson to make a play. He was out of gas. He had the vault on his back. And this one back down for an icing. How much is in that vault? That's probably <laughs> the next <laughs> well, I talked about the play for Wayne Simmons right before that breakaway for Claude Drew. Watch the patience here. Here comes Jack Hillen. Whoop! There he goes. And then there's Wayne Simmons, just not able to get any elevation. But a two-on-one. Hillen goes down. Just a beautiful display there of Wayne Simmons. Little curl, hold, wait for the defenseman to slide out of the way and then just bring it right to that area and create a real good chance there. Now, Simmons had 29 goals last year. He's got 16 this year. He's on track to having another phenomenal year for Philadelphia. And a power forward that can do everything for you. Board play is phenomenal from Wayne Simmons as he was slot area play. Three and a half years with the Flyers and 88 goals. 41 of them on the power play. This one, Kareem back, and Carlson is protecting there. Carried along by Boracek, but offside. 5.58 gone, second period, and 1-0 in favor of the Capitals. Eddie, I bet you saw a lot of scouts last night in Dubuque. Yeah, I was there in the afternoon. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stick around for the game, but yeah, they had every team, every National Hockey League team was represented for the USHL and NHL top prospects game. Over 100 scouts were there. We got a book on all of those young hockey players and get an opportunity to see all all of them on the ice at the same time. It's an outstanding league, really a true outstanding development league. It's going to, it's really going to bigger and better places with ownership groups and more talented players coming from all over the world to play in that league. It and is an international cast in yeah, the USA it is, now, isn't it's just it? Not, it's just not players as well. I mean, it's also coaches. John Cooper yep. coached in Green Bay with the Green Bay Gamblers, and Jeff Blaschel now the head coach in Grand Rapids won a championship in Indianapolis with the Indianapolis Ice. So, you know, the National Hockey League, that's just not looking at players from the USHL, but also uh, 
the coaching ranks. Doc, just one more thing on what you were talking about. Think about Thomas Vanek played in the USHL, Eric Halla played in the USHL. You got a lot of guys that are playing in the NHL who are European born that did play in the USHL. This one is tucked across to Couturier and floated back in and wide. Johansson to get this one. Are you hearing much down there, Pierre, that you can talk about? No, only in the last, in the first period, you had Wilson and Shen. Outside of that, it's been pretty peaceful. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the Flyers' game here? It's a one-goal game. They're not really out of it very much. They've outshot the Caps here, 11-10. And the Caps only two shots this period and only three shots lately. I like the way they play the last half of the first period. And they've seen a couple of the great chances that they've had in this second period. Okay. Here's Hill in a shot, and that held by Zep. Nine years in Germany, and now he's in Washington. <laughs> Rob Zep <laughs> holding him off pretty much. Here in Washington, Kraft is looking for the most passionate hockey community in America. Nominate your community for a chance to host an NHL preseason game, plus $150,000 in arena upgrades. Nominations now open, Kraft Hockeyville, for the love of hockey. Pierre nominated a place in Connecticut, and he has nominated a place in Michigan. How about a place in Illinois uh, for the benefit of Eddie Pierre? Downers Grove. There's uh, a, a, do you have the name of the rink at all? Eddie? Just Dr. Dr. Downers Grove, you better call the Granado family the first, <laughs> hockey, the first family right. in hockey. Okay. Uh, can I nominate? I'm going to say Niles, Illinois. The Niles. Niles Sports Complex, where I was lucky enough to start playing this great game a long time ago. Jay Beagle is canceled out. Right back to the kennel, though. Worked one across, but Tom Wilson decided to throw a hit. And on back now comes Green. Mike Green with a pass. Oh, and that was a, uh, it, had that been 43, they might have followed through on it. Uh, but they might have paid a price for it, too. 43 swooping there and comes to the bench for a change. If that would have been Zach Ronaldo instead of Vinny Latavi, I think that would have made a big mess at the blue line. <laughs> Eight and a half played here in the second period of action from Washington. And the lone goal from Jason Chimera. Three minutes and 13 seconds in. Washington's offense has not really been able to show a whole lot. Roaring ahead here is Voracek. Flipped it in and went right in after it, forcing the hand of Holtby. He guided it on and it shunted back out to center by Orpik. Well, Holtby's made a couple of real good plays in his own zone, handling the puck, getting to his defense when they're able to get the puck out of his own. Right now, the Capitals just clogging up the middle. Voracek drifting, shot one and a save made by Holtby and another. And then Orpik. Steamed one that ricocheted off like and will be chased down, no icing. He keeps sitting back. The Flyers are going to end up putting the puck in the back of the net because right now the Flyers have all the momentum and they're playing with the puck more than the Capitals. Icing call. Now, Dodge and Eddie have been talking about Braden Holpe. Here's another example of just how good Braden Holpe is. He doesn't cheat on a play. Pads down, square to the shooter. A lot of players would overcommit to that play and leave the long side open. But Holtby tracks the puck, stays with it, stays with it, doesn't overcommit, doesn't get outside the right goal post. There you see the note on Olaf Colsey. And that 15 years ago. Niskanen given a good bump there by Koliakovo. Niskanen right after it again. It's poked off his stick, but he got it to Alsner in a shuttle, and that a tough one for Zap because he had a man right in front of him blocking his view, Burakovsky. Played back along now for the delay by Backstrom. Handed on across off the wall for a play made off of Burakovsky. He touched on by Ovechkin, gotten by Backstrom. Backstrom trying to pull away from Koliakovo. Ovechkin's shot was blocked by Luke Shen. Long shift for these guys on defense for the white team now. Thrown on a cross by Niskanen and tapped on by Alsner, then led by Ovechkin. Jostled a bit was Backstrom. Has Burakovsky nearby, and he was held off. So it is just fired back off the boards by Koliakovo, but back in. Burakovsky with that shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder name. Couldn't come up with a puck. It's played back along to the point for Niskanen. Niskanen got it back to Backstrom, turning away. Knocked down, but it is followed through by Ovechkin. The villain uh, that time in the eyes of Caps fans was Giroux, and then it shifts to the linesman who made the play call of offside. 
9.37 to go second period. Just a single goal here tonight in Washington. Tough start for your team, but you found a way to reel it in. What'd you say to the players? Well, just get the puck moving quicker, more north game, and we've done that a lot the last 10 minutes of the first period, and then obviously the start of this period. Going north, getting it in, putting pucks on net, just playing a simple, quick up game. Do you have a formula at all on how to beat Braden Holpe? <laughs> He's very good goal. He's better get traffic. Thanks a lot, Chief. Thank you. It's okay to find traffic, Eric. Well, I think any time that you have the puck in the offensive zone you got to have the guys without it at least making their way towards the net uh, making life really difficult for Braden Holpe right now because more times than not if he sees it he's going to stop it so get people to the net before the puck is on its way there this one is sent back in deep no icing on this play rushing back is Roffel closed off though by Niskanen reached out and tried to center but already it was Johansson and floated off a stick that of Simmons and so puck played by a high stick is called Craig Berube mentioned the north game what is that well I mean that's just getting the puck and just moving it towards the offensive zone instead of maybe moving it east west or moving it from board to board you're just going to get it you move it up get your skates into it get get your nose over the puck and get that puck moving as quick as you can straight ahead the less board to board more straight ahead it puts the defense really in a tough spot and you know, the way the Capitals are playing in the middle of the ice you might have to chip and chase you might have to dump the puck in and go get it and, you know so far the Flyers have done a really good job of getting their skating legs and getting their four checking game going by playing straight north a little double shifting for Alex Ovechkin right here going out with Jay Beagle and Tom Wilson no Jason Chimera yeah, trying to uh, change it up a little bit yep. if you're uh, Barry Trotz right now because you got not a lot of momentum going on Wilson's pass convenient for the Flyers and tapped back by Vanderbilt. McDonald takes this one and weaves his way on. Little quicksand set up there by the Caps at center. It bounces back in now for Holtby. Shakes it right back along. I don't recall Holtby being as good with the puck in prior years as he has shown us in this game tonight. And it seems to be a tendency of his now and a very positive one. This one poked on a cross for a nice little feed that can be carried back out by McDonald. Very confident with the puck. McDonald wanting to shake his way by. Cannot defend it all the way by Brooks Orpik in another masterful play by that guy. Shaken back in and it's Zepp out to handle this one. Dished it back off for a hurried play over to McDonald and he starts it the other way after it's dropped back to him by Claude Giroux. Giroux, Braden Shen and Boracek are out for the Flyers right now. So that means it's Brooks Orpik and John Carlson sure enough for the Capitals. Touched right back, and so hustling back to play is Cole Iacobo. Chipped away from him. Fair tried to play it and does get it now. Fair pulling, throwing one that is tipped aside. And a good defensive play made there by Giroux. Lobbed off by Carlson. Played through now to Joel Ward. Ward has Fair running some interference. And that one shanked high off of Zepp and off the glass. And back to Brooks Orping. Seven minutes, 15 seconds to go. Second period of play. The shots in the game are 12 to 12. Reaching in is Ward, and a shot was blocked and then can be covered by Zepp. Well, Doc, you were making mention of uh, Braden Holpe handling the puck, and I think any time a goaltender goes back to handle the puck, your first four checker needs to go and pressure the goaltender. And then what is the goaltender's options? Really, he doesn't have that many. It's either move it this way or move it this way. So what do you do? That you take away the walls and not allow that goaltender to be able to make a play, so you go right on him. You can't let the goaltender be able to make that type of play. So pressure, but then it's important that other guys without the puck to get in there and take out the outlets. And when you steal a puck from a goaltender like that at some point, it's going to keep him a little bit more honest in that net. It's not going to be as aggressive. That was a first base snag there on a very hard drive from Matt Reed. As you see, a lot of times when a goaltender goes to play the puck, guys will try to guess and see where the guys, where the goaltender is going to play. That first guy should go right on him. And he's got two options, really. I, most goaltenders are going to try to throw it back through that guy's legs out in the middle of the ice because that's obviously dangerous. So what are his options? Up one board, up the other. So those other two four checkers need to take away those options and maybe sustain and create a four check. 
Rakowski saw it tipped on a cross and then returned to him. Deals it back to Backstrom. Led back for Niskanen. And dumped the shot and a save made by the pad of Zepp on the half-speeder and iced by the Flyers. Inside the glass, here's Pierre. Well, let's keep on the Braden Holtby theme. And quite frankly, he's become a huge story in this second period. Saves right there against Braden Shen on the power play. This one on Wayne Simmons, square, making himself look big. That one on Claude Giroux. All these in the second period. There's some of the puck handling that Eddie and Doc have been alluding to. He can go on his forehand, he can go on his back end. And one of the things that makes it hard, Eddie, I think, he's unpredictable because he can't go on his forehand and his backhand when it comes to moving the pot. He's not afraid to bypass those uh, defensemen that are looking for the for the outlet. And if you're not sure and if your goaltender go back and play that, you just go ahead and put it up a high into the glass so that nobody gets it instead of trying to uh, be maybe like a third defenseman. Here is Brower turning now, his team without a scoring chance this period. Thrown in front, and that one is set aside by Simmons and can be played back out and down and will go for another icing. Five-nothing scoring chances, the Flyers, in this period. The biggest stars in the galaxy are about to align in Columbus, Ohio for the 2015 NHL All-Star Weekend. It begins Friday, January 23rd on NBCSN with the fantasy draft where fans will be able to play along with the captain's picks. The captains have been picked. Jonathan Taves, Nick Foligno. Congratulations to them. There are three guys that they'll have. Not a, Eddie. Not a bad no. few choices to have on the no. screen we just had right there. Now will Jonathan Taves choose Patrick Kane, Eddie? Early? Yes. Uh, I'll say no. Green sees this one played away to a jagged piece of the boards off of Zepp and worked on back to center. Maybe Felino gets the first pick and he takes him. He doesn't have the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure will be on if he's sitting there waiting. We are in a political town, Edward. Well done. That is true. <laughs> Finesse on now for Simmons who pivots. Simmons led it to the back, held there by Koliakovo. Delays. Flipped one that went off of Burakovsky and can be led back on by Backstrom. Burakovsky with a bit of an opening, but the back pass canceled out and then thrown all the way through the crease through Luke Chen and forced by Ovechkin, but shunted on to Simmons. Simmons delays. Nice little pass. Here's Lawton trying to breeze in. Puts on the brake. Swings one. And that ricocheted off the defense and went wide. The guy who got a piece of that Orpic able to play that to Carlson. And we are under five minutes to go here in the second period of play. A pitcher's battle, as it were. Shot deflected up to the board. Along to get it is Wilson, and he's rocked there. The shots are 15 to 12 in favor of the Capitals. This period, seven for Washington and five for the Flyers. As ahead with this and turning is Belmar, and a strong backhand shot was held by Braden Holtby. Ladder stages, second period. One zip, Washington. Drawn, man. Well, the Rangers will take on the Boston Bruins on the NHL Network tomorrow, and then Sunday we'll be in Pittsburgh on NBC. Rangers and Penguins. And then Sunday night, the Sabres and Red Wings, and then next Wednesday, Blackhawks will be in Pittsburgh. And Got a nice note from senior VP of Hockey Operations, Chris King. McDonald shot deflected out of play. Go ahead. Well, we were talking about, uh, Pierre was asking about, will Jonathan Tate select Patrick Kane? I was informed by Chris King that uh, Nick Foligno's assistants are Patrick Kane and Drew Doughty, so he's not on the board. Oh, not going to get a chance. And Jonathan <laughs> Tate's assistants are Ryan Getzlaff and Rick Nash, who's having a huge season for the New York Rangers. In Tyler Sagan with 26 goals in the Rocket Richard Trophy race. Steven Stamkos with 25. Alexander Ovechkin with 22. This led to the back and can be controlled now by strike. The Flyers just one strike away from getting this game even again. Capitals keep spending this much time in their own zone. They either get scored on or take a penalty. Braden Shen shot was blocked by Orpik. Corralled and started ahead by Carlson. Off the glove of Like, tried to poke it along, could not. It went off both Fair and Braden Shen and can be walked on by Boracek. Given across to Giroux for Boracek. Up for grabs and Carlson able to backhand it as far as center. 
Kuznetsov nicely able to shake away from a couple and march back in. Kuznetsov gliding around behind. Back pass on! Oh, a save made by Zep on Johansson, and they stash it back into the goaltender to get a stoppage of play. But now we have some of the archaic action from the past that has found itself into the second period of this one. Boy, that last rush from Kuznetsov looked like he was going around the far side and then he just spun around on his forehand and threw the puck back to the front of the net. Marcus Johansson, but this puck takes a funny bounce. Watch this. Johansson shoots it right there. It goes off the shin pad of Luke Shen and Rob Zepp's able to make the stop. Well, I like at the end of this play though, Eddie, Luke Shen knows he's in a tough situation. He's going to lock up on Troy Brower. That's called clearing the crease. A little tag team there, a little up there yeah. from Wayne Simmons. It's a little Western Hockey League action. Shen played for the Kelowna Rockets, and Brower had an amazing run with the Moose Jaw Warriors. In a rink they used to call the Crush Can, Doc and Eddie out in Moose Jaw. Why did they call it that? Because it had a short roof, a little short roof. Okay. Now that's in Canada, so they have their own contest for uh, for uh, various uh, acclamation craft, craft for rinks. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we're still sticking with Downers Grove, Port Huron, and where was it? In New Canaan, Canaan, Connecticut. New Canaan, Connecticut. Those are among the nominees for us. And Niles, Niles Illinois. That's it, Niles, Illinois, the Ballard Sports Complex. Might as well throw another one in there. Southwest Ice Arena in Crestwood, Illinois. The next he, thing we need to do is get some of the other states, and I th have a feeling you're going to hear from them. <laughs> so will Pierre, and so will I. That's okay. We got a long way before the contest is up, right? Yeah, the Ice Castle and Castle Shannon, Pennsylvania, just outside Pittsburgh. How's that? The Ice House in Hackensack, New Jersey. We'll keep going. A little bit of a pushback here from the Capitals. That was just a terrific play by Kuznetsov, who walked right around Claude Drew in the middle of the ice. Took the puck wide, threw it back to the front of the net. Rob Zepp, who's been a pretty quiet second period, to make a good stop off that shot from Johansson right off the shin pad of Shen and then was able to freeze it up. The War Memorial in Johnstown. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Get with that money, you could buy back the Nets, the team bus. <laughs> you get to go to the Aces? <laughs> Brought back ahead now by Niskan. Ooh, what a good thump put on him. And the jostling continues along the boards, becoming more physical, thanks to Wayne Simmons twice. This one brought back ahead by Lawton. Oh, and a forearm shoulder hit up high oh, by God. Niskan. He doesn't know where he is right now, Scott Lawton. Here's Ovechkin, and a save made by Zap. Took a while for the physical play to arrive out of a very quiet second period. Yeah, Lawton's gone into the locker room. And Niskanen just exploded up and into his chest. This is a Scott Stevens type hit. Former Washington Capitol Stevens, Stanley Cup winner with New Jersey, now one of the coaches there with Lou Lamorello and Adam Oates and Matt Niskanen out of Minnesota Duluth just steps up and devastates Scott Lawton. Good job by Wayne Simmons getting physical with Matt Niskanen. Nothing wrong there. And then he steps up. Wow. Eddie, what was it they used to say when you play against Stevens? Don't cut back against the grain because he might do that to you? I just stay away from him. <laughs> well, that was a textbook book hit by Matt Niskan. And now a big hit by Chimera on Couturier. Here is Jay Beagle. Fed one in front, punched away by Strife. This here is the pro game, isn't it? Brought back ahead by Reed. And that deflected out of play. Two minutes to go. Second period and a 1-0 lead for Washington. Out shooting the Flyers 17-13. But the hits have been coming on much stronger lately. Wilson and Beagle have come to the bench. Others will take their place. We're starting to get it. Brower and Shen are both talking to one another as they go to the face-off. Just the right amount of time before they play again. February 8th and then again February 22nd. 
Washington's birthday, but in Philadelphia. Ben Franklin would be glad. This one stashed across the net mouth wide and played back on by Koliakovo. Then Le Cavalier. Then Vandevelde wants to get to the front. Repeatedly shoved off, though, by Carl Alsner. Out of quite a scrum. It has become a bulky physical game. Here's Koliakovo. A shot just over the glove hand of Holtby and off the glass and retrieved by Koliakovo at center. Got to find a way to hit the net there from Koliakovo. Left behind, but onside, they say, and Luke Shen's shot is grabbed and held by Holtby. Looks like that puck might have dipped just a tad as Johansson was going over. Luke Shen, I think, when he picked his head up, was hoping that there was going to be somebody in front of that. Craig Berube told Pierre about getting some traffic. Well, there's Shen. He's waiting, he's waiting, and then nobody around the front of the net just finding the puck at the Capitals' goaltender. You were right, Eddie. That puck definitely dipped, and I think because Marcus Johansson's stick got in the lane. So they're challenging Matt Niskanen now from the flyer bench. Not liking that hit on Scott Lott. And he says, what do you want me to do? It's a clean hit. It was that noted flyer, Ed Van Imp, who said you have a whole career to pay a guy back. Back in his era, the flyers didn't seem to wait that long. <laughs> That's why the average of uh, penalty minutes per game between these two is so high. It's somewhat recent, but more back further. Archie Henderson and Ben Wilson are somehow or other smiling and nodding about all of that, too. Offensive zone faceoff and Couturier trying to win it for the Flyers. Up against Brooks Like of the Capitals. And on the tie up, it's kicked across and a shot went wide from Braden Shen. Fired back around again to be played by Voracek. Voracek out there with Couturier as they tried to feed the point. Voracek saw that one hoisted on out by Fair and retrieved by Schultz. Final minute of play, second period. Fair with a good defensive play on Braden Shen. Marches on and Fair to the outside. A backhander is held by Zepp. They whack it away. Oh, and Zepp with the remarkable save on Fair with his pad. My goodness. And we get a halt to play. And a penalty coming up. Eric Fair's last two years in junior with Brandon. He had 50 and 59 goals. He knows how to score goals. And you're going to see this puck bounce out. What a save with the left pad by Rob Zepp. Simple play, just getting it to the net, and I think Fair would have liked to try to continue on with this puck, but he had pressure coming from Braden Shen. Well, I think you heard Barubi talking to me about the body to the net. There's an example of bodies to the net, but it's Washington doing it, not Philadelphia. Ovechkin shot, and that answered by Zepp, who has stopped Ovechkin on two significant ones. Backstrom to the back, got it over to Green, and a drive rattled off the pipe from Ovechkin. It remains 1-0 in the final half minute of the second. Caps with six straight home wins. Pivoting with this, Backstrom got a deep slot. Green is shot, blocked, followed through, and that one kicked aside. Belmar got in the way of that, and it's cleared back down. Hustling out is Holtby with 10 to go. Green sent it ahead. Ripped right back, stopped by Holtby. That's it for two. And their two with Washington. The Discover Card second intermission forthcoming. Liam, Mike, and Keith Holtby holding strong for the Caps, and the Blue Jackets are battling the Canadians. 21 shots to 14 Capitals. Only one has gotten through from Chimera a long time ago. The snarl element getting a little bigger. The score is low. The NHL on NBCSN is brought to you by the Discover It Card. It's a game changer. And by Frost Brewed Coors Light, the game's most refreshing beer. At one time, the players were largely helmetless, and there were some famous ones. Number seven for Philadelphia, Bill Barber. 14 years, 420 goals, two Stanley Cups, 
number retired. Same for Rod Langway. 15 years, Hockey Hall of Fame, a Stanley Cup with Montreal, his number retired. Legends. One, a sharp shooting left winger. The other, a grizzled defenseman remembered in the rafters here at Verizon Center. Well, you got to get a stop there from Glenn Healy on that chance. I mean, <laughs> that's from 45 feet out. I mean. <laughs> in the box still, Voracek. A minute 14 of power play time coming into the period. Have we seen Scott Lawton return? Because we were concerned about him. Yeah, they're down a man on the bench. Okay. After taking that big hit from Matt Niskin, his beer picked up right away that uh, he was having a difficult time finding his way back to the flyer bench. Second power play for the Washington Capitals tonight, brought on now by Johansson, fed on back to Backstrom, gives it across to Green. Then Ovechkin fed it in front, jab wide of the net by Brower. Nice conception of a play there. Held to the outside again by Backstrom. Ovechkin drifts in a bit at the opposite circle. It's back to Green. Waits. Gives to Ovechkin for the shot. Looked like it glazed off the tip of the glove of Zepp. Backstrom just holding now. Inside the four-man defensive box is Brower. To the back it comes to Green. Ovechkin again. And that one blocked down. Poked back along by Belmar. Lifted by Luke Shen and back down in the last 20. Oh, my, what a head-hunting toss <laughs> from Holtby. And I guess Green's okay. Little duck, duck, goose there. <laughs> Back ahead with it now comes Johansson. Whipped one that swirled around the shelf and dropped down off of Fair. Penalty time is up. Teams are at full strength. A one-goal game here in Washington. A low-scoring contest at 1-0. Greg Berube was saying earlier today that his team has had difficulty in those one-goal games, particularly in scores of 2-1, 3-2. This one is 1-0, and they have had some flourishes in the contest, particularly in the second period. Rifled back across for the carry back out again by Boracek. Puts on the brakes. Finesse to pass through. That is Giroux's to play. Here's Giroux. Able to slide it around behind, but too far for Braden Shen. Up the boards it went for Beagle to connect back up to Ward and back in again. Good play by Brooks off, but they're really denying Claude Giroux. Here's a feed. Oh, and the try that went off Wilson's stick and off the stick of one of the flyers. And then Beagle tried to force it in, but could not. So it is strike. Then it's Koliakovo. Then it's Simmons. Wayne Simmons pulling it along, but that one was intercepted and flung right back by Jay Beagle. A two-time Calder Cup champion in Hershey. Coached by Bruce Boudreau in one, by Bob Woods in the other. Lifted right back in again, and it skitters on wide, and Niskanen sees this icing canceled. Jam back along to the point. Luke Shen with a shot. Oh, and it's tipped wide as the reach was Raffles. Sent back by Brower, handled by Niskanen, given on to Alsner, looks ahead and tries the down and out pass that went past Brower and down, and icing is rule. Now we've been talking about Braden Holpe's ability to handle the puck. He fooled his own teammate, Mike Green, right here. Almost got him right in the noggin. <laughs> Eddie, I guess that would be called a quick up. He was looking yeah. to move it up ice to Ovechkin and Johansson. <laughs> wow. What was that uh, game you were saying that was? A little duck, duck, goose. That's another translation I guess I'm going to need. <laughs> Probably no one else does. What is duck, duck, goose? Uh, just a kid's game used to play a long time ago. Okay. Nicely canceled out by McDonald, but the good follow through there. And up the boards it comes now for the hold by Kuznetsov. Wanted to get it to the front, no luck. And across now for Braden Shen, throws it out for Voracek. Voracek has Giroux right along with him, but he can't get into the zone. Good stick work done there by Brooks Orpik. Alexander Ovechkin yelling at the bench because they want to get a matchup against this line. He's yelling and rushing to Kuznetsov to get off. This one forced free by Voracek, and he's able to re-grab and then play it quickly around behind. Canceled out by Carlson, but held by Del Zotto. Banked around behind, Voracek with it again. Looks to the front, peeling off his Braden Shen. No one right in front of the net, but gliding out now is Schultz. And then it is held by Voracek further. Swept it on back. Schultz a drive, deflected, and then whipped right back down 
out of the air by Carlson, and icing is called. Good stick positioning there from Joel Ward to deny that chance for Schultz. Let's take a look at our SAP player profile. Focuses on Braden Holtby. He has faced 14 tonight, gotten them all. 20th consecutive start for him. We were mentioning earlier that there have been some snarly games, and we were seeing a little of that in the second period. December 21st of 1980, the two teams met in Philadelphia, and there were 120 minutes in penalties in the first four minutes and three seconds. <laughs> Why is there a smile in my voice? That was the first time Washington ever won in Philadelphia by a score of six to nothing. And the main headliners were Archie Henderson and Ben Wilson. Washington try to pull a fast one there, get the live legs of Ovechkin on the ice and get Brooks Lake off the ice. Got caught by the linesman. Off this tie-up. It is taken along to the outside. Belmar drifting around behind, had it knocked off his stick, continues to work. Bounce loose and on out to center. We're going back to play it as McDonald. Could have been a holding penalty there on Brooks Orpik. That's what Claude Giroux was saying, and Ovechkin said, calm down, Giroux. They might be teammates. I think there's a chance right at the All-Star game. Here's Ovechkin moving along, dropped the pass to nobody in particular, and it's up for grabs, and eventually Umberger can hand it across. Swung back by Vandevelde and retrieved by Mike Green. Everything in sync with his goalkeeper, but he lost the puck, and it's dealt out in front to Umberger, and a pad stop was made by Holtby, and a penalty coming up. The call is a hook. The Flyers to the power play, and a chance to even it up. Backstrom to the box. A good forecheck in behind the net, and Mike Green decides to come out on his backhand, and once he comes out, a little bit of a hook there from Sean Couturier, no penalty called, and then he throws it to the front of the net, and as you mentioned, Doc, there's the stick from Nicholas Backstrom preventing the real good quality chance. Oh, for two are the Flyers on the power play. A single shot on it. They are fifth overall in the entire league in power play efficiency. And they are number one in the league at home. And here's a chance for Light deflected away coming across to try to block off that side was Zepp. Meanwhile, the Flyers got a scare on their man advantage. Now Simmons hands it over to Voracek, gallops on, has Simmons drifting to the front and hands back over. Shaken back over by Giroux on back to Strite, and that one ricocheted off of Holtby and caught the glass. Voracek's pass intercepted, and Brooks Like is able to play it right back down. He comes to the bench, and the unit has been changed. It is Fair and Beagle out there now, up front for the Capitals, escaping neatly as Giroux gave it back over, and it's thrown back off to him by Braden Shen. Then on to the back now for Strike. Strike across for a check there. For a check across. Oh, and a save made by Holtby, anticipating well on that from Giroux. Now Strike. Now Voracek. Threw one, tried to get it to the front, knifed away from Shen, poked to the corner, gotten by Simmons, and scaled along for Giroux. Giroux holds it again. At the front of the net is Simmons. Ripped across to Voracek. Drift, shoots one, save, Holtby. Rebound, bounces loose, hacked along the boards, driving for it, Niskanen, taking it, Braden Shen. Again, it is Giroux. Tries for Shen, cannot get it. Niskanen can't clear. Peeling away Giroux, got it around to the front, Voracek. Head fake, shot, squipped in front, save made by Holtby on Simmons. And they jam in, but Holtby has got it. Well, a couple of good chances for this red hot flyer power play they have goals on the power play in five straight they have seven goals in their last five games claude drew had a really good chance right before this but just an absolute mad scramble in front of braden holtby and the right guys had it for philadelphia first it was jake voracek then it was wayne simmons talk about guys that know how to score especially voracek on the power play last two years he's had 16 power play goals It is Carlson floating it back down the ice. Three shots on goal on this power play for the Flyers. 
Nearly six and a half played third period of a tight one nothing game here in Washington. Brooks Orpik will retrieve. After him, LeCavalier, the casual tip behind and the blast by Carlson. Shunted on down, and Carlson watches defensively as it's played back over for LeCavalier, who threw it across the net mouth for Couturier, a drive by McDonald. It's booted rack out again by Chimera. Hustling for it, Chimera able to poke it on by. Chimera drifting, fed one. It's Ward turning around behind. Joel Ward holds and settles things down for the Capitals. Full strength action. 13 minutes to go. 1-0 the home team. Couturier went to work on Ward. Able to get at least a couple of yards with it. Flipped one along that is kicked along and then played with the stick of Umberger to center. Ripped across to Hillen and right back in again. Luke Shen to play that one. Trying to filter it through. Couldn't get it by Beagle. Meanwhile, reaching back in is Ovechkin. Twisted it back for Hillen. Gave it on across to Green. Back to Hillen once more. Shoots one. Rattled around in front. Peeled off by Backstrom and sent wide. Ovechkin bat angle shot off the frame. And it is lodged on the back of the net and the whistle will blow. Middle stages. Third period. Still just a goal in the game. Man right there, Jason Chimera scored the only goal so far in this game. You see the marks on his face. That came from a friendly fire incident in the second period. About halfway through the second period, he collided with his own man, Ward. And Joel Ward's stick made that mark on his face. And he had to go in for the rest of the second period to get some heavy-duty repairs. Just doing a count down at the Flyers bench as you were talking about injuries. See 12 skaters and a backup goaltender for 13. One and five on the ice, so they are short by one. And that would be Scott Lock. Lock. This one goes back down, and it is Hillen to play. Smoked out by the reach of Rothel. Dealt back off the glass, and Ward has it spun back behind, and it's Green to take over there. Muscled a bit by Belmar, took it away, got it to the back loop, Shen a shot, and that blocked up to the corner glass. Belmar again, defended by Green. Able to pretty much do what he wants there, jamming it along with his skate and pinning it a moment. Roffel tried to play it, came on back for a hurried shot that went wide of Holtby and the Washington cage. Tipped onto the back, and it's Luke Shen again. Rattled back in for more play here. Reached back up the boards, and it's Chimera to flip it back out. And Koliakovo had it knocked off his stick. Follow-up from Wilson, and his shot was blocked aside. And the rebound is just held as it stands from a bad angle into Zap. These are the guys they'd like to have. Braden Coburn for a while now. Steve Mason day-to-day. -day. Nicholas Grossman injured reserve. Kimo Timonen has not played. They miss him greatly. No Scott Lawton since the collision. And so Craig Berube goes with patchwork wherever necessary. It's the notion of any season. This is the 44th game of 82 for the Flyers. They have more games left at home where they have been a stronger team than they do on the road. And where their power play is number one. Yanked on along for Fair to play on to Brooks Light. Light wheels and hands it on back. Carlson there off of Braden Shen, and along it comes to Schultz off of Shen again, and Light able to keep it. Now fair a shot, and a save made by Zapp, who hangs on. Well, that line did so much of that in the first period. Joel Ward doing an excellent job controlling the boards with Eric Fair and Brooks Light against the top line of the Flyers. The Rue Voracek and Shen force him to defend rather than attack. Where has this guy played before? Pierre, you can pronounce the names of a couple of these teams. There are five spots where he has been in professional hockey, and perhaps we'll have that at the next stop. Oh, here we go. Uh, La Pedranta is how you pronounce that for the Finns and Ice Bear in Berlin. But Plymouth Whalers, I think, would stand out for a lot of people that are fans of the North American game. His last two years in the Ontario Hockey League, he had the most wins of any goalie. He and a goaltending partner shared the best goaltender goals against average in Plymouth three years in a row. 
Well, that's consistency to have the best team when the lineups change so much in junior hockey from year to year. Here's Alsner trying to drive one ahead, locked up against the boards and turned back over to Couturier in a shot right into the catching glove of Holtby. Doc, we're going to start the t-shirt concession with Eddie held by Holtby like the playoffs a few years ago? It's been very strong, hasn't he? It really has. This team has done a good job of defending, getting in lanes. And that's a point of emphasis for, for Barry Trotz and the Washington Capitals and having confidence that they can win these type of games. They have to score three, four, five goals a game in order to win. They have the confidence to win the one nothing, the 2-1 games. They've been very strong late in games, too, the Capitals have, and hanging on to leads that they do have. I mean, the run that they've been on, they've only lost one game in regulation in their last 18. Holtby with 13 wins since December 2nd. That's the most of any goalkeeper in the league. Stash back over now for the turn by Luke Chen, hunted down by Johansson, and then it's played along off the stick of Simmons. The rush is on, but it is laid back out for Johansson again. Just banked it right back in. Very careful play, short of icing. Halfway point of the third period, and we are still, as we have been since 3.13 elapsed in the first period, when Chimera scored from Niskanen. And that's the only goal in the contest so far. Simmons a shot, and that one held by Holtby again, as play is stopped. 9.44 to go on the third. There have been 43 shots taken tonight, and only one goal. Congratulations to our best player, Doc Emmerich, for winning the NSSA National Sportscaster of the Year for the second straight year. Congratulations, Doc, from everybody. Pretty amazing when you get to come to work with a living legend every night the last nine years, huh, Eddie? Pretty phenomenal. Way to go, Doc. Well, that's kind of you. Thank you both. This is played back in by Joel Ward. 1-0 is the score in this contest as it's angled back up. Braden Shen trying to get there. Carlson a shot that went wide of the cage. And along now to Voracek. Voracek trying to weave his way along. Can't do it. Forced back by the checking of Fair. The dog gets through the middle of the ice there by Eric Fair. It's a checker now, Eddie. Sent back along to Braden Shen, trying to get by, and Fair just knocked it away from him. Followed through from Giroux around for Voracek. That one went off a skate, but can be brushed right back again for Shen. Bounced plainly over for Giroux, and that blocked in front by Carlson, and shunted back in again by Joel Ward. And I asked Eric Fair about the potential for a matchup with Giroux, he says, oh yeah, ever since junior, I've become more and more of a checker. I had to change my role, and he's bought in real well. Sure is a score in the outdoor games and uh, <laughs> and other contests as well. And this one floated back in. Well, as you were on the Winter Classic, Doc. Some positive karma for Eric Ferry. You were talking about how he had the two-goal game in Pittsburgh, and next thing you know, the puck was on a stick, and the Capitals had a one-nothing lead thanks to Eric Fair. We talked often about horses that are good on a wet track. <laughs> he got two in Pittsburgh in the rain and one in the sun in Washington. Along with this one, now they bring it, and it's Koliakovo shaking it to center. They try to float further, but Backstrom in the way. Guides it back up now for the carry-on. Barakovsky's shot was set aside by Zepp. Led to the back now for Mike Green. Green flopped one wide of the cage. Backstrom couldn't come up with it until just now. Then tried to lead it back to Hillen, but it's collared and started ahead by Wayne Simmons. And Simmons with a couple of head fakes, hoping to create an opening here. That one went off of Schultz, who had pinched. Ovechkin brushed it along, and Delzato got back to take the bouncer. A little over seven and a half to go here in the third period. Probably in a one nothing game, you don't talk a lot about changing up lines, maybe getting your scores extra time. Here's a feed in front, and driving to the net was Couturier on the pass from Umberger. Didn't work out. Oh, that was a real good chance there. The one adjustment Philadelphia's had to make is Scott Lawton was their second center, so they've had to find somebody to play with Raffle and Simmons. Noticing Couturier getting more ice time here, so perhaps that's it. He is without a stick right now, but out of this play. 
Brower is near the front of the net, feeling off, watching to see what's going to come from this. And it's thrown right near him, but cut off and brushed right back out again. Brought ahead by Umberger, trying to force his way through. No sale because of Carl Alsner's play. Six and three-quarter minutes to go, third period, and hustling right back with it is Johansson, wanting to poke his way through, cannot do it. Luke Shen advances one that's tipped by Simmons, but grabbed and played across by Hillen. Green able to connect back out to center. Tom Wilson peels off with that, stashed it back in. Safely, they go to the bench. After having made a change, the Caps get Tom Wilson's unit out there. More aggressive combo, brought right back ahead for the Cavalier shot that went wide and off the boards, had to be stopped by Holtby. Well, Doc, you talked about Carl Alzer making a great play, and he does because he hears Matt Niskanen saying, you take the puck, I'll pick up away. So you see Niskanen coming into the picture, but great communication with Niskanen and Alzer so Alzer could slide over from the left defense position to make that play. Former Calgary hitman, a captain for Team Canada at the World Junior, and for Matt Niskanen, what a career so far. Alsner has moved deeper in the batting order now because of the acquisition of Niskanen and also Brooks Orpeck, and he looks a lot more comfortable, I think, Eddie. Yeah, I talked to General Manager Brian McClellan about that situation of uh, not really counting on and relying on Alsner and Carlson of being the guys and just gaining some experience and some traction. And when you bring in two experienced guys like that, now they're they're where they should be and will continue to grow in that position considering the system and the coaching style of Barry Trotz, according to the general manager, Brian McClellan. Puck bounced off the mesh, and so that drew the whistle. And uh, that flashes a dollar sign for us. Be right back. Games on CSN Philadelphia, Vancouver tomorrow night in Philly, then at Buffalo Saturday, at the Islanders on Monday, your turn. Upcoming games on CSN Mid-Atlantic and CSN Plus. Capitals will be at Nashville, at Dallas, and then the Edmonton Oilers will be here in Washington next Tuesday. First Wait. time back to Nashville for Barry Trotz and Lane Lambert. Wednesday night rivalry presented by Coors Light. The narrowest score you can have and still have one at one nothing. Across, oh, and Reed couldn't pull the trigger on that one, and so back up. It is brought. Play by Ward. My mistake on that, that was Claude Giroux, 28, not 24. Meanwhile, this is taken on by Strike. And that played on through. Giroux watching as it's right battled near him, poked along by Ward. Jammed loose by Braden Shen and filtered behind by McDonald. Long toss is kicked aside, but then picked up and started back ahead. Braden Shen handed it over to Boracek, drifting with it now. Sent it off the board, but it's cranked around by Carlson. And able to take and start back ahead is Burakovsky. Schultz to play. 5-10 to go in the third. Boracek laying it on across. Delzato connected with Matt Reed, no kidding. Burakovsky goes back to play this for the Capitals. Just a little extra time to make sure that's a four. Driven back on now for Backstrom, who jabbed it further, and then it is Schultz. And then it's gloved down. Burakovsky had to slow down a bit with it, and is plowed over by Delzato. And it's handed back to him. What can we expect from the Flyers here? More chance taking in a one nothing game? Not yet. No, I think too early. Too early, yeah, to start you know pinching in and taking chances. Swung across the net mouth by a turning Couturier. It's laid right back around to him again. Stood up by Niskanen. Peels off though, looking for help. Got it from Reed. Shunted it behind, just away from Umberger. Wedged up the boards, and Burakovsky tried to play it back out. Long shift for him out there right now. Beagle tried to work his way through, but not. Once you get to around the two-minute mark, that's when you really start trying to pinch in and keep plays alive, take some chances offensively. Swept back in again by Chimera, and around behind it's Zep. Hands it over, and Luke Shen's pass ricocheted off a teammate stick, thrown right back in again by Wilson. And then Chimera feeds, oh, and Beagle with a chance, and it would not go. I think he just airmailed this puck up and over. 
the net and behind them. You know, the Hyundai RoboCam is going to get a pretty good look at that last opportunity. Good board play. We already talked about Jason Chimera in this game, and as Eddie said, airmailed right up and over by Jay Beagle. Quality opportunity. He's going for it. He just missed. Boy, what a great play there from Jason Chimera to be able to settle down that puck. Skate backwards for a couple of feet and then be able to throw it into the wheelhouse there of Beagle. Handed to the back, or pick a shot, and it rattled wide. Moving for it is Ward. Duels with McDonald, peeling off his fair. Rocked a little bit there. And a check that came from Giroux. Rattled on around, and it's Orpica shot, and that had to be blocked away by Zepp. It is Ward playing yet again. Under three and a half to go. Brooks uh, Like is able to hold it to the boards. Sidled up to there, and duels with McDonald. Knocked down with Giroux. Puck escapes the strike. Looks ahead for Shen. Twists it along for McDonald. Long toss ahead on. It went just by. And there's no icing on this play as Brayton Shen got there. But then reinforcements had not gotten to help him from the bench just yet. And the Capitals in the middle of a change there. And it almost connected in on a beautiful play in on a breakaway all alone. Elzato waited, got it on over to Schultz, played one further, Raffle up with it there, touched it over, driven back in by Belmar, and stopped calmly by Holtby, and then handed on to Alsner. Quickly up the boards, it's tipped on back, hurried shot, ricocheted off of Raffle from the stick of Delzato, angled back along by Niskanen, and this one will go down, and on goal, so no icing. Paddled along by Zapp, and then a long toss is on the turning stick of Raffle. Able to duel it ahead now for Simmons, who has run off. It's touched on across to Alsner, 2.15 to go. Johansson floats one high. Squibbed crazily, and McDonald couldn't come up with it. Beagle could. Beagle rolling off that partial block by McDonald, and then it's twisted along by Strike. Gotten by Chimera. Floated along, but away from Beagle. Charging back for it now, and outletting was Raffle. Shift changed by the Flyers. Couturier brings it on, drives it back in and around. Giroux had it chopped from him there. Tumbling down was Braden Shen. Hoisted on out as far as center by Carlson. Get the goalie out here if you're the Flyers once his puck gets into the capital zone. Under 100 to go. Zepp at the goal crease at the other end. Carlson there. He's outside, nearing the hash marks, and now he charges to the bench for the extra man. More battling in the corner in the last minute 20 of a 1-0 game, Washington ahead. Net empty at the other end, Voracek with it. Fed one along to Simmons, worked on to Giroux. Giroux got it back, drive by Strike, kicked out, rebound, scramble in front, rattled all around the net, and thrown back down. Fifty-five to go. Everything but in for the Flyers. Voracek started in. Offside is called. What a chance for the Flyers. Beautiful setup with the goaltender out. Giroux makes the pass to Mark Strike. This goes off of Brooks like his stick. Hope he's going one way. And he's able to react at the last second and still get a right pad. And I don't know how Vinny LaCavi is not able to put that puck into the wide open net. Hockey strong Brooks Orpeck. You're absolutely right. It also looked like it rolled, Eddie. Right at the last second on McCavie. He bounced over his stick right there. It went off his left skate yeah. and as he was going for it. Just looked like it got a little English on it and went away from Vinny. Right in front of the, uh, right into the blue paint. But that shot by Strike. And we've seen that a lot here tonight. The Washington Capitals paying a price. It's not only the physical part of blocking a shot. It's getting the stick in the way as well. That's not credited as a blocked shot, but he gets in that lane. And the goaltender has to bail him out after a great opportunity. And that puck almost went in off of Eric Fair. And you see the reaction from the flyer bench after that mad scramble in the blue paint. Well, they brought it hard tonight. You see the intensity on Craig Berube. That's Todd Reardon, the fine assistant who came over from Pittsburgh played 183 games in the National Hockey League, but this is a 
huge thing right now on the faceoff in the neutral zone, Eddie. I know people overlook neutral zone faceoffs. Giroux's got to bear down here and try to win this thing. Up against Backstrom. Bear and Simmons having some words and some nudges, and it comes back to Orpik, but he allows Carlson to bang it back off and down. Icing from this, and so it will be back near Holtby with 45 to go. I'm not sure that was part of the plan, Eddie, after Backstrom won the draw, just to get an icing. Yeah, I'm not sure what John Carlson was trying to do. He wasn't trying to make a pass because it was about five feet high. But an opportunity here for the Flyers. Giroux and Backstrom again. Off of Carlson, nudged on, peeling away with it is Ward. The net is empty. He moves ahead and missed the net. Now it's Backstrom with it. Rolled one around behind, Ward waiting, jostled there by Giroux, who's able to take it. Fed it right in front of the empty net, across for the take by Voracek and the carry ahead. Stepped away from one and delayed and got it back on now for strike, got it on to Giroux, fed it across, and it is Simmons to play it off the board. 15 to go. Simmons waiting for a point man, and he's got one now. Voracek drive, and that one blocked by two caps. Another shove across, oh, and it would not go for Giroux. And back down it goes in the last three, two, and one. 1.4 shows on the clock. They will undoubtedly double check that. Well, Claude Drew with a great chance there and didn't get a lot on it. But right before that, he had a chance as he was entering the zone. Instead of shooting the puck, he tried to make a pass all the way over and bypass an opportunity to let that great shot go and just healed that last opportunity. How about Joel Ward shanking the wide open net, Eddie? That was unbelievable. Yeah. That really was amazing. That net was yawning. Paul Start. One to the back, hurried shot by Giroux. The hard sounds a one nothing shutout win for the Capitals. 15th career shutout, second against the Flyers, also November 1st of 2013. Fourth shutout this year, third in the last 12 games, 14 wins for this guy in the last month and a half. One regulation loss in 19. Capitals get points 55 and 56. Two behind Pittsburgh for second. One nothing they win. Stay tuned after these messages for NHL Overtime. Good night all. <laughs>